A portion of today's show brought to you by Ferris Law Group. Okay, when it comes to buying a home, you want to make sure you're on track with your investment, and that is where a home inspection really pays off for you. Cindy O'Gorman from Ebby Halliday and Richard Green from Home Inspection Depot are here to tell us more. Why is an inspection so very important? No, um, a buyer always wants to get an inspection when they're purchasing a property, no matter what the age of the home. And even sometimes a seller, if there's been a lot of deferred maintenance, may want to go ahead and get an inspection prior to listing and take care of those repairs. Mm -hmm. So it just makes the whole process of selling um, less chances of terminating the contract once you've had an inspection. Right. And the inspections are extremely detailed, aren't they? Uh, they can be, yes ma'am. Uh, being uh, licensed by the state, the state provides for us a specific set of standards and procedures and that's uh, all presented in the report itself. So. I'll tell you what, we just bought a house a couple months ago and we had the inspection done and they were there for a few hours. I mean it was probably like three or four hours and they were climbing up in the attic and they were up on the roof and they were in the chimney and they were, I mean you go through with a fine tooth comb. Yes, yes. Uh, it, generally runs about an hour per thousand square foot. Uh, that's mm -hmm. just kind of a general rule of thumb. Yeah. And Richard checks from the roof to the foundation and everything in between. So it was very detailed. And so what happens uh, in a report like that when you find something that is, uh, that's major? Say there's a foundation problem. You know, the buyer always has the right to in, um, negotiate with the seller um, a repair allowance or to do the repairs prior to closing, or they can terminate the contract if they're still in that inspection period. So, um, it, you know, it's really giving the buyer the information they need to whether they're going to have to pour a lot of money into the home right. um, or they want to back out during that inspection period if there's something serious. Can they go back and renegotiate the purchase price? They can as far as they take it as is and take so much off the price instead of the seller do repairs. And then sometimes if the seller's already coming way down and they feel like they're already giving a good value, it may be that they're not going to do repairs, but it's giving the buyer the knowledge of how much they're going to have to put into the home after right. they purchase it. Right. Are there certain things in our area that um, seem to be common problems in homes that you find? Well, <clears throat> excuse me, foundation problems are, are certainly very common just because of the type of ground that we have. Uh, we don't really have dirt. We have black clay, which is very expansive and contractive. And, that can many times cause foundation issues. Uh, with the hail that we have, the high winds that we have, uh, that certainly uh, provides a lot of opportunity for roof issues. So. Sure, and termites? Yes, unfortunately, there are bugs there in the ground. Everybody has them. It's just a matter of when they want to come in. So. And right. it's that time of year. <laughs> yes. Oh, we're seeing them. yes. I know. We just had a little run-in with that yeah. <laughs> this nasty. morning, actually. <laughs> um, do you, have you ever had a situation where somebody gets angry with you because they're like, hey, my house is perfect. What, what's the problem? Why are you finding all these issues with my house? You, you would be surprised. Uh, I typically always leave a card behind. Uh, and sometimes I get some ugly phone calls. And uh, I go through the process of explaining why. And... Uh, a couple of weeks later, I get a call from that same person that says, hey, <laughs> you did the job on my home. I really want you to do the job on my sure. next home. So, and you know what I yes. think um, is extremely helpful is if you're in the process of, of listing your home and you get an offer, somebody, somebody makes an offer and they order an inspection, um, even if the deal falls through and they decide not to purchase your home, you have now this detailed report on your home. And I've often thought that it would be worth it as a homeowner, even if you're not worried about selling, to, to have somebody come in every, say, five years or 10 years, you know, just to do a real detailed inspection. Do you do that as well? Yes. And actually, I would recommend every year. Uh, every if, year, really? Okay. If you're an existing homeowner, then it gives you an opportunity to uh, find those in the making issues before mm -hmm. they become major issues. And if you are uh, thinking about selling your home, then it gives you an opportunity to make the repairs beforehand so that when you put your home on the market, it's uh, a much better home that you're putting on yeah. the market. Yeah, give me so. an idea of, of cost if somebody wanted to have you come do an inspection of their home. Is uh, there it, a range? Yes, it can differ per inspector, but it typically runs uh, based on square footage. I would say an average price. Uh, is probably in the $300 range to $350 range. And yeah, it goes so that up seems to me like a really good price for preventative maintenance of your home. And, you know, if it means that I don't have to crawl up in an attic <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> or up on a roof, then I think that's so great. Quickly, about the market, still hot? Still hot. As a matter of fact, this last week, 
um, multiple full price offers on high end properties, which has been very rare lately. So, wow. Um, it kind of went through a lull after spring break and Easter, and now. This last week is picked up, and um, as soon as they're hitting the market, they're selling. So it's exciting. Yeah, I was going to say, how's your inventory? My inventory is down about 65% because most of them are under contract or have just closed. And this is the lowest I've been in years. So, so that's kind of a dream come true for yes. you, though, isn't it? Where oh, you yes. put something on the market, it sells immediately. I was <laughs> just saying to Richard, after having to market some of these properties for two years and not sell, I mean, coming out of pocket with marketing That's hard, expense. Yeah. So now the ones that are selling quickly is exciting. It's Do you really find yourself great. just like wanting to walk around and knock on people's doors <laughs> and go, hey, I've got an interested buyer. Are, are you interested in selling your home? We're sending letters out to certain yeah. neighborhoods. Like I have buyers that have picked certain streets or neighborhoods and we're sending letters and we're selling houses that way. So, yes, That's fantastic. It's, it's really a, um, it's a godsend. It's just a new and exciting thing that we haven't seen in a lot of years. All right. Well, good luck to you. Yeah. Thank you both for being here. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate the information. You can contact Cindy O'Gorman at Abby Halliday at cindygorman.com, or you can reach her at the number you see there on your screen. I'll tell you what, you're thinking about selling your house? I would do it now. <laughs> Richard <laughs> exactly. Green, by the way, can be reached at the number listed there on your screen, or you can email him at homeinspectiondepot at verizon.net. Again, in the range of 300, 350 bucks to get somebody to look through your home, I think it's a fantastic way to uh, prevent Absolutely. larger problems. And if you have any real estate questions, you can always send them to Ferris Law Group info at ferris-lawgroup.com.